Thank you, Robert. My name is Renz. I am a 3D artist and technical art director. Working with Intel, I had the opportunity to be the first adapter of their XUSS technology and use it during the development of the Outpost demo. The demo we built is a short playable experience that takes you from a frozen indoor environment to a snowy outdoor landscape. It shows how XUSS can help improve performance while at the same time preserve the quality of the original content. The demo is running on Intel Alchemist at 4K resolution and is built using Unreal Engine 4.26 with DX12. XESS gives great performance increase for the base pass. This makes it possible to have much denser scenes using objects with higher poly count to increase their detail. The Outpost demo uses 4K and 8K textures to create an equally detailed surface with scant resources. It was important to me that these details would be preserved and thankfully XCSS maintains the original quality of these textures. To create these textures I am relying on photogrammetry, using a series of 50 megapixel photographs to reconstruct the surface. The mood or atmosphere in the demo relies on volumetric fog, effects and lighting which are most often quite costly in terms of performance. To get the volumetric fog to look good we needed higher settings that would normally be too heavy in native 4K. However, due to the fact that we are rendering to a smaller buffer that is later upscaled by XCSS, these settings would now become affordable. Performance benefits are also very noticeable in the translucency pass. The reduction here gave us the chance to use more effects without worrying too much about overdraw, which made this scene look more dynamic. Another area where XCSS works well can be seen in the lighting pass. While the demo uses baked lighting for global illumination, there is still a considerable amount of dynamic lights used. These lights at native 4K would take up a lot of performance, however, now with a reduced cost we're able to use spotlights to create more visual depth and enhance the atmosphere of the demo. As part of the art style, the demo makes use of a lot of horizontal and vertical lines. These were created using pipes, railings, metal panels and concrete surfaces, giving it an industrial feeling. These patterns are sensitive to anti-aliasing, but XUSS handles this well. Since it's not only an upscaling solution, but the AI also performs anti-aliasing in the same pass. This removes artifacts such as pixelated lines and smoothing sharp edges. Compared to other AA techniques such as TAA, XCSS introduces less blurriness, so the final image is much more crisp. These are just a few high-level examples of how XCSS can help developers win back performance and push their content. I hope everyone is enjoying GDC, either in person or virtually as in my case. If you have the chance, I would encourage everyone to go see XCSS in action. And with that, back to you, Robert.